get that morning swim out of him. You going back in? Or are you done? Like every morning he wants to just go literally jump in the pool and go swimming. We'll swim later, kid. I gotta go fix the koi pond. The koi pond's overflowing. Hey. Hey, sir. Oh, I told you don't get in here. You hard headed knucklehead. No dog that's a fish, it's tuna fish. We're not a fish. Freaking dog. I, you want some more fish food? Since you're a fish now. Hey, don't eat my fish. Hey, leave my fish alone. Fish are friends, not food. I swear she thinks he's a shark or something, yo. So we just released some boas in here. Just transferring them from the back to the front. And we're just letting them get settled in. But if you look up here on top, you can see two male and female just hanging out on top of this moss ball I got up there. They're arboreal species, so when it gets nice and hot, the sun creaks through. On some cloudy days, they get some good sunshine. Just checking on them, they're settling in. The albino boa constrictor. Beautiful species of snake, man. Look at that thing. Can be feisty little creatures too. Six snakes. Starting the morning. Good morning, girls. You guys want to meet a fucking bull shark? You ever seen a, bull, a land bull shark? Looking at one. Look at him. Endangered species right there. Goat man. You know your compadres. Fucked up that workstation today. All right. Typical morning out here. Good morning, kids. Oh, you made a mess. Look what you did. It's all right. What's up, goat kids? All right, back up. Leave my towel alone. Get out of there. Come on, let's go. Go in there. Go to Geek, stay out. Go kids! Good morning! Go to thank you sir. Shuggy, get over here. This is what the morning looks like. Everybody escaped and pooped on my patio. So, it's whatever. This is where our, our daily routine is over here. There's always something new. We're always learning. It's like a school. Big old school full of kids. I'm the biggest one. Take kids out and you just rub up against them. Now there's other things when it's off, like you just bust the wires. <laughs> Can't really use it. It's my fault, it's not a biggest fault. You got Goody over there. You got Master Splinter, the one hanging up over there with the beard. He's like, you see my man over here? That's Jason Statham, Mr. Sheeps. He's like a black ops sheep agent. Look at him, he's, he's proper as shit. That's our girl Tater right there. Goaty, leave Tater alone. Tater's a sweetheart. We saw her super skinny and we said, we need to take her home. Here she is on her new journey. It's our big baby girl. If you look super down below, in between those two by six by 16s and those fence panels, it's a goat. That's LeBron. Come on! Daddy got food! Are you hungry? I know you are. Food bucket. Hey, I got your coconut. Ready for yours? Here you got coconut. Little football for the day. You like that coconut? Me, I'm a farm animal. I'm back. 
Cleaned up now. Put our fixture back in order. Follow me. It's been flooded because it's been raining a lot and stuff has been overflowing. So I had to put a little buddy over here and some food. We're gonna feed him some fish. Now, as the day goes on, just got, just got done cleaning up over here. Fed a little snapping turtle kid. All the livestock has been fed. Walk over here with me, guys. Sorry, I'm, again, I'm in the middle of my daily routine. And to that out again, this piggy likes to jump in here and take a bath. What a pig. Hey, Moko, you better leave that uh, big old cow alone. She ain't no joke. Tater don't play that shit. Tater don't play that shit. Gator don't play no shit. You hear, you feel me? Gator never been about that. Never, never been about playing no shit. She's sleeping, so if somebody sleep, you must give them respect. We're not gonna wake them up. But when you step into their home, you gotta be a little more quiet if they're asleep. Key to building a relationship with a woman, you gotta wake her up with some food. It's key to her heart right there. Let her sleep in peace, protect her with a nice cage, give her a bunch of upgrades. That quick. Now, this guy's cleaned out. Now, that was the Iguana Delicatissima cage, AKA Nina and Nino Brown. Hey, Pote, I'm gonna get to you in a second. Stop yelling at me, all right? Thank you, sir. Now, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm sorry too, Coco. I'll be over in a second. I didn't forget about you either. I talked to my dog. What's up, handsome? How you feeling this morning? Uh, I got a plate. What's up? You got food all over your hand. I just like, so we just cleaned all the reptiles iguana food out every day is a process you know you got to go through clean everything get all the scraps out make sure everything's cool going on just get your eyes on the animal make sure this water is filled up and fresh and then you're off back to the kitchen to make a new diet. As we're filling up on iguana grub, we're also gonna be, our muscle deep thawing meat right now, so all of our carnivorous species of lizards will have a high, heavy meat day. Just cutting up some food for my boy. So, I'm just ripping up the pieces of meat. I'm making it real small so I can mix it in with his kibble. Usually he just gets mainly just kibble. These meals are only bumped up like this on special occasions, like the weekends, which is Saturday and Sunday. Everybody gets a full on, big blasted diet. Mix it in here. Ready for the smell? Ready for the smell, There you go. We'll go through and get all the other dog bowls in a minute after we feed the reptiles, which we're about to get to right now. Now this is where they want us. You got a little bit of Missouri that's space down there. We're dropping some blueberries. Got some strawberry treats up in there. We got some shredded collard greens. Sweet potato. Shred up. So this is the iguana diet for the day. Mixing it all in, so you see that, that water you put in has now made it like a mush almost. But when the iguanas go eat these blueberries and eat this sweet potato and pluck them out, they're also getting a mouthful of Missouri. Some are picky eaters. I have to mention that as each animal is completely different, and have patience with it, because there's times you're gonna make a meal and you think you it looks good, and you give it to them and they don't eat it. And you're like, oh, you gotta try again next day. You can't get, you can't get discouraged. You gotta keep trying and trying and trying for your animals. You know, make sure they have the proper stuff they need. All right, so carnivorous diet. Chicken out. Got some fish in here. We got some steak. Steak down there. And we 
and have some more chicken. So this guy is gonna have a quick super worms and chicken. Now he eats a, a higher insect diet than most. They're robust animals. They're always digging and digging and digging. If they're digging and, and, and raiding up, you know, nests and ant mounds and termite mounds, they're just constantly banging out a bunch of small insects. So in captivity, you gotta duplicate that diet. Don't bite me. I'm trying to get your super worms not to run away from you. He has that big fat face, but he's able to still pluck those little small ones off the ground. I love it. What's up, baby girl? Got some food in here for you. He's awake now. This is gonna be your Grand Cayman Lewisai hybrid. Check out the black feet. That's what I love about these animals, man. That black foot. So sick. And they got that blue head. And then that orange body, that orange belly down there. Ooh. Ooh. It's yeah. good stuff. You want it? He's like, I don't want to bite you. I know. I know. I know. It's all yours. I don't want it. I just gave it all to you. Oh, yeah. How about got your blueberries? Blueberry. But that blueberry's doused up in that Missouri. So either way, he's getting some food. I didn't want to bother you this morning when you were sleeping. I know you were, you were knocked out in there, so I wanted to let you catch your, get your, get your beauty rest. Get you catch some Z's, you know? I know you like strawberries. Yeah. No. Oh, you had it. I love how she just picks up the little one she likes. Look, literally the tongue goes out. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. These are my fingers. No food. The man switched the rule, a house adjustment. We moved our. So it's the Christmas in here. So look, she, she sees the food up. She also sees that ant crawling up there, so she's like, what is that? Yeah, good boy. You're a good boy. That's a good boy. Yeah. That's a good boy. We got fresh water. Our girl's over there basking. Fly through this way. I got you some food. Put his food on the ground over here on the tray. Look at that. I put a strawberry on top just for you. Yeah. My hand ah, my hands are empty here. Hey, relax, you're okay. You're fine. He's like, oh, I'll just stay in your food bowl then. You don't touch my food bowl, I'll take your food bowl. Look at him. I call him young Smurf. He's got that uh that Lewis Eye hybrid blue head. Now look at him. I mean, he literally has this, a head of a smirk. Like, it's just powder blue. Again, we have a lot of lizards here all over the place. We'll get to them all today, but we'll show you guys our special ones we have. What's up? What's up? I missed you. I hold my hand. I want to hold your hand, too. I bought you food. And fresh waters. Now, you guys seen the female already over there. This first one we fed. Now we saw a younger male, which is the young Smurf. This is OG Papa Smurf. This is what he's gonna look like as a full grown adult. Let me get my water hose and see if he wants to drink. Some you thirsty, buddy? It's good. You like that? Yeah, I got your nose, I know. Some water? I'll wash you off. I'll wash your body off a little bit. I know you like that. There's a lot of dust from this sand in his cage, but talk about flawless animal, dude. Yeah. Strawberry up there. Blueberry. Yeah, he's like, ooh, I like blueberries. He's tolerated me in his space. If I was annoying him, if he didn't want me to be in here, that tail, that thick tail, he would smack me dead across my face with it. Those are called his jowls. They're just his jaws. Not, and now it looks fat, but that's all muscle. Those two lumps on top of his head, all muscle. So when they bite down, all that just flexes and it shows their jaw strength. And if you look, he has a little bit of razor sharp teeth and they get thicker as they go back into its mouth. So we got some steak, chicken, and some two eggs. So put that there, watch this. Hey, you want this? 